Welcome to Nick Education. This is uh, Claudio Lazo, um, famous celebrity hairstylist. I, it's great having you here. Thank you, Nick. Um, what are you going to be doing for uh, us today? Today I'm going to be doing a beautiful editorial look um, inspired by the runway in fall 2013. And what's happening on those runways right now? Uh, a lot of geometric shapes and a lot of texture. So for today I'm going to be doing ponytails with braids. Awesome. I'm really excited. I'm going to learn a lot on the other side of the camera. Yeah. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. The first thing you want to do when you're doing some editorial work is to make sure the hair is prepped perfectly. And how to do that? We start with dry hair. And you want to get the little bit of the silkiness away from it. So what you want to do is you want to apply product. I'm taking extra volume mousse and I'm going to apply it from roots all the way to the ends, combing it through, and then give it a directional blow dry to create the movement of the place that I want the height or direction of my style. Distributing the product all the way through on dry hair will solidify a little bit better hold. So I'll be applying a little bit of mousse, extra volume mousse, through the whole hair, distributing it from roots all the way to the ends on dry hair, taking small sections all the way through, in order to get the product evenly. Now I'm going to follow this all the way through on both sides and then we'll begin. After applying the mousse or styling product, what you want to do is distribute it all the way through. Now I'm going to give it a directional blow dry. In this case, what I want to do is I want to bring everything back and push it and create a little bit of lift and flatness on the sides because all of this is going to come back with a little bit of volume on top. So after the blow dry, and making sure that you don't have any tangles through the length because you don't want to create tangles at all through these shapes. Now I'm taking my sections for the work and I'm taking a diagonal section right to the roundness of the head. Not at the flat part of the head, but right at the roundness, right at that ridge because that creates a little bit of height and it doesn't become square. If I took this line a little bit farther over, it would give me too much width on the sides. So the shape would be a little wider here. I don't want it to come out wide. I want it to be narrow and forward. So therefore, I'm taking it right on top of that ridge. So let me clean up this line a little bit. Look at that line. So we take a look at that line. And now after I've established that line, now I'm going to go straight back right on top of the head. Take a horizontal line straight back right at the top of the round of the head because we're going to do something really interesting right here. It's going to be really fun and interesting. So we're going to create that line. And remember, you see it that it's right on the top. So let me fix this little angle here. There you go. I'm going to block this out. And start my other angle on the other side. So what I've done is I've duplicated my sides. As you can see, I've taken the shape of a triangle. And I finished it with a straight line right through the back. Now I'm going to leave this section alone for a little bit and I'm going to block out the rest of it. So 
So now my next step is to split the head in half. and section loosely two ponytails. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna recap for you guys the sectioning. Uh, this is really cool sectioning what we've done so far. It's basically a triangle that sits right on top. As you move it, you can see that it gets a little wider, but it's still, I'm staying right at that round of that ridge. It's very important to stay right at that round of that ridge. And I've sectioned it all the way to the opposite side. All right, take a look at that. Now let's take a look at the back. Then what I've done here is I've split the back in two sections and I just, for temporarily, I used them. This is really what the shape is gonna be, but I temporarily just uh, sectioned them off in loose rubber bands. And it's uh, because, the reason why I did that is because I'm actually going to take a piece of this part of the top triangle and move it back. The reason why I haven't done that yet is because we're gonna take this top part and crimp it in order to create texture. And a little bit of that crimp, I want it to follow all the way to the back. Why do the whole thing? Why not do the whole thing, I should say, is because you want to keep the sides sleek. You want to keep this look very sleek. Crimping is going to create texture, and I only want the texture right on top, and that's going to be the exciting part of it, you know? And then after that, we're going to section the ponytails here into three, create a curl so they give you nice and bouncy waves, and then we're going to braid them. And that's going to be really cool, too. So. One tip, these little U-pins are fantastic. You can pick them up pretty much anywhere. And what I do, instead of just clipping things out of the way, I pin things out of the way, and this helps me create a shape.